First, some exciting news, I imagine. Some exciting news. I was looking at the syllabus and I was thinking about kind of what we have left. And also, kind of what I told you guys before we left for the break, which is a big part of my MO. Ooh, I love teaching you guys weird things. You guys are, have you, are you familiar with that expression? A person's MO? You, some of you are. Do you know where that comes from? Modus operandi. It's, it's Latin. Just means the way that you work, the mode you work in, you operate in, your modus operandi. So, uh, the Christian. Um, anyway, that's what MO means. But my approach to the end of the semester was you know, I try to appreciate the fact that if it's not already, you may not be appreciating what's due for you in my experience as a student. But for many of you, your hair is probably on fire right now. Uh, perhaps your life as well. Just thinking about what you have to do or what you have to study for, or you know, you got you got shit coming. And if you're not, if you're not sure about that, you should go check. <laughs> you should check. You want to know those things. But anyway, that's probably the case for you, or it very soon will be. Um, in light of that, and and the fact that all we have really left is. The fact that all we have left is project, and that's turned in virtually, and it's done electronically. And I've decided that today will be our last day meeting in class. <laughs> um, now, my thoughts on that, number one, are, you know, I, I concur with the word statement, uh, which is funny, kind of nice pun for our discussion before class, but two, um, I'm going to say this, and I kind of have a suspicion of how this will go, but I'll say it anyway. Um, we do still have Wednesday. If someone wants to talk with me and or meet with me or any of that, I'll be available. I mean, you're going to have to let me know. I'm not, I'm not going to do the thing. I'm not going to just come in because my suspicion is you will not come here on Wednesday unless I make you so so yeah but if you hit me up if you if you want to talk about the project or whatever you know uh, let me know we can figure that out my Wednesday is gonna be pretty open I think um, and we'll go from there so because this is our last day um, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about the project uh, we're coming back from break you probably you may not even remember what the project is, you know. So we should we should re up on that real quick, make sure we're all good, okay? Um, but aside from that, because this is our last day now, uh, we got to do some last day stuff. It's going to be a lot of me talking at you, uh, and then a quick thing that won't be your favorite, and then we'll talk about the project and we'll leave. So not too bad. Okay. The thing we got to do, me talking at you. Uh, I think a few of you have done the evals already. They're different now. Uh, for many, many years, they were paper and they were in an envelope that was sealed. It was like we were spies, um, like lame spies, but we were spies. Now it's all on course then. It's still anonymous and I don't get them until well after the semester. So I know sometimes students are like worried about for that one reason or another. Um, I, I do not see them. I do not see them for a while. So you don't have to worry about any of that. But what I want to do here with the first little bit of class, I'm going to talk to you about the class. And I'm going to give you space and time to do the evals. I'm going to leave the room here in a couple minutes and ask you to do those. Now, of course, I should remind you, the evals are optional. You don't have to do them, OK? Uh, but I will leave the room and ask you to do them if you want, and which means if you don't, you just like sit here and, and fuck around on Instagram or, so, or whatever it is you do in your quiet moments. Um, so there's that. Before you do that, a couple things. About the evals, I have two things to talk about. First, the evals. Um, I, uh, as I often do, um, I'm not so old that I don't remember my time as a student, although I'm quickly approaching uh, as many years teaching as I had as a student, so that's something. Um, but what I remember as a student with the evals, 
I always, at the very least, was fine with the classes I had. Like, the class I hated the most was math, and that was because I hated the subject, not because I had a problem really with the teacher, you know. Um, and I wasn't such a shitty person that when the evals came around, I was like, this class sucks. It's like, no, man, I, it's just not for me. Like, if you're not mature enough to admit that, I mean, you should really investigate some things. But So my point there is, again, at worst, I was fine with the classes I took. Some of them, though, I really dug. I never let my teachers know any of that. Evals for me were, it was fine, just check all the things, and then I was done. And again, that's fine. But the point I want to impress upon you that I did not realize at the time until I was a student for a really long time and I started getting you vows as a teacher, I was like, ah, oh, shit, I didn't realize. What tends to happen is the same thing that happens anytime anybody is asked to give feedback. The people that are fine with a thing or even like it tend to not bother. The, the people that tend to leave feedback or reviews uh, are the people that have a problem, that are very upset, or whatever. And there could be different reasons for this. Some of them could be justified, often I would counter they're not, but still, that's how those people feel, and they let me know it. They really do. Uh, and it's fine, it is, it's fine. Um, but like, for instance, uh, one of my personal favorites, they'll say, he grades like, we're all English majors, which is hilarious to me because that tells me, one, you're not an English major, so you would not know what it's like to be graded like one, and two, I don't grade you like your English majors. You couldn't even fathom. Like, if you're leaving a comment like that, you have no idea. It gets so much harder. But that's fun for me. Um, my personal, personal favorite of all time, I once had a student, this is at Alabama, Okay. Some of those people were assholes. <clears throat> they insulted my wife. I know. What a monster. What an actual monster. Um, okay, it didn't affect I'm just like, I was, I was blown away. I just show her. I'm like, do you see this? Um, but every year, I, I like to tell people, like, I, I haven't had one like that since then. So that's been a while. Okay. But that's kind of the gamut of negative responses you might get. Okay, um, and, and look, if you want to leave me some negative feedback, nothing I say right now is gonna change any of that. So I guess just light my ass on fire with the, the comments, go for it. For the rest of you, um, I wanted to tell you that not just for this class, but for any of your classes, you may not enjoy this one, uh, and you may enjoy others, or you may at the very least think it was fine. You can tell your teachers, we do see them, uh, I suppose on one level we are people, and it's just nice to have some of those like, hey man, you're not the worst, type of, that's, that can be fun sometimes. But also, we do actually read these things. And if you have any, any kind of constructive feedback whatsoever, I didn't like this or the way it was done for this reason, and or I really enjoyed this or I really found this helpful, I actually wish we had done more of this, any of that stuff. That it, we look at that stuff and we take it into account. We do. So I'm telling you it's worthwhile. If you had anything at all <clears throat> to offer, any of your teachers, I think it's worth spending those two or three minutes and letting them know. Anonymously as well. Unless you're one of those silly people that puts your name on it accidentally. I've seen that. Because you're so used to it. People will write their names like at the top. Like, it's supposed to be anonymous. Um, but outside of those, it's anonymous. So there's that. That's my feeling on the evals that I'm going to ask you to do here in a minute. Uh, before we do that, <clears throat> lastly, my thoughts on the class. The way I approach class design uh, in my comps, a little bit with creative writing when I get that stuff like that, but I always try to in some way think about <clears throat> uh, sort of ideas that I feel like you guys probably take for granted, okay? Like, I had a student approach me in one of my other classes and say, man, you should teach a class uh, centered around like feminism. And I told him like, well, my wife does. You can take her at some point if you want, but, but also rightly, I think feminist thought and theory and, and all these questions are kind of in the zeitgeist right now. Like there's something that 
we're kind of considering as a culture. So it's kind of at the forefront in a way. And what's interesting to me about that is why I teach this class. Masculinity is one of those things that now, but really always, weirdly, we just take for granted. Like why are guys the way they are or why do we think of male figures the way that we do? At least before this class, I imagine most of you would have shrugged and said, well, that's just how it is. It's like, nah, I don't know if I agree with that. But that to me is worth thinking more about, worth reading a book or some poems or watching a movie and, and investigating, right? Because we take it for granted, like that doesn't sit right with me. Um, and again, the reason I approach my classes always with that in mind is it's, it is my sincere hope that at the end of the semester, as you go wherever the hell it is you're gonna go after this, at various points in your life, you might be able to step back at least a little bit and go, why is that like that? You know, you ask some kind of questions, you actually consider it. You don't take those things for granted always. And if that's the case, then I consider this class a success. Um, the other thing I would say, I understand for many students, um, English classes in particular are some of the most challenging. Um, there's some bummer reasons for that that really aren't your fault. Uh, namely, you just haven't been asked to do any of this your entire life. You've just been asked to memorize information and regurgitate it, um, which has a value, actually. I, I, I shit on that constantly, but it, it has a value. Um, but the problem is that that's all you're ever asked to do. What kind of a skill is that really? Like when you think about when you're like 30 or 40, I know how disgusting, but like when you're, when you're an adult with glasses and stuff, if all you can do is just memorize and regurgitate, what kind of a person are you getting? Like that sounds awful. That sounds kind of like a dead end, dead end life, you know? Um, and these classes, really don't allow you to do that very much. We, we ask you to think laterally and to apply it. And, and that can be difficult all on its own, but it's doubly difficult if you've never been asked to do it. And you kind of haven't been. Um, so I know it's difficult a lot of the time, but I think it's good for you. I honestly do. I think it's good for you, one, because it's just a good skill to have, but two, I think difficult things are good for you. I know they're not fun, but they're good for you. As a student, as a person, whatever you end up being later. Um, and so if that's some kind of a defense for maybe why this class wasn't your favorite, that's what I have, you know, is I think uh, we, we didn't um, hold hands and sing every day, but I think it was valuable. At least that was my hope. Um, what I'm gonna do now, as I said, I'm just gonna go hang out out there. I brought a book of poems, because that's how lame I am. I'll be right out there. I will not listen or, or be involved at all. I'm gonna like, because it's weird for me, honestly. I'm gonna just like step over there and get away from you guys. Um, but I would ask, if you haven't, to please go to Corsten real quick, find the eval, uh, knock it out. Remember that it is optional. You don't have to do this right now. You can just hang out for a couple minutes while other people do it. But I will say, when everybody is done, if somebody can just peek their head out and let me know, because uh, it gets kind of sad out there, um, let me know, I'll come back in, we'll wrap class up, and then you can leave. All right. Thank you, guys. Uh, I say that, again, without having seen your comments. I surely wouldn't thank some of you, but anyway, fine. Um, all right, so here's what we got left. The first thing I want to do, and again, your immediate response is gonna be nothing. And for many of you, that might be your secondary response, but some of you will go, oh wait, and you'll, <clears throat> you'll have something. So bear with me for a couple more minutes. Does anybody have any questions at all about the final project? Even if you're like, that's dumb, go ahead and ask it, because somebody else is gonna have that question at some point. Any questions at all? So pretty much similar to what we're doing, we're basically kind of what we did with the previous papers, but more of a video or podcast technique in analyzing. Yeah. Um, uh, comparing what we've talked about to what we took. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So, yeah, the big difference is you pick something mm -hmm. this time, um, and it can be all manner of things. Um, but, yeah, I, I would say, like, 
the conversations we've had in here, and we've also had quite a few of those, would be a jumping off point. Um, and for some of you, <clears throat> you'll end up staying pretty well inside that conversation, giving you a text, that's fine. Some of you, I just want you to know, you have the latitude to just kind of go wherever the hell you want. Um, again, depending on your text, that's part of the reason, uh, that's, that's a small part of the reason, if I'm being honest with you, I used The Last Dragon <clears throat> as an example that we did last time. That movie absolutely is thinking about sort of male figures and how we've talked about them in this class. But given the scene we watched last time, if, if you guys don't remember, that was the one with uh, the Shogun of Harlem. Anyway, uh, there's also just a whole lot of banana shit that's going on in that movie that's very different from anything we've talked about. And if I were doing that movie, I'd probably try to talk about some of that, right? Like it, so it depends. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I, you can absolutely start with any and everything we've discussed in this class as it pertains to your text, whatever, whatever that is. Uh, but where you go from there is kind of up to you and up to what elements of your text you focus on. Does that answer your question? Yes. Cool. Good question. Worthwhile. Other questions? couple things I want to remind you about you know, for the project. <sighs> Your rough draft was due today. Don't freak out about that. Some of you were like, we had a rough draft? We did talk about this. Um, to remind you, because I'll still take it, all the rough draft of this assignment is whatever you're going to do, if it's going to be audio only, video, uh, and if you haven't decided that, go ahead and decide that today. Um, I want you to make a file. Like all that means is if you're gonna do audio only, record yourself saying hi in two different languages or something, right? Like just a quick thing, it doesn't, it, cause what's important here, this is about technical hurdles. We might be able to illustrate it. Has anybody actually done the rough draft yet? Did you have any problems? Good for you. Did you do video or audio? Video. So you had to go to YouTube first and then, yeah, yeah. But again, it's, it's practicing that process. You, you won't know about any potential hurdles until you actually do the thing. In your case, it sounds like it went well, that's great. So it should probably go well when you do the real deal. Um, for some of you, that won't be the case. Some of you have MacBooks that you got as a graduation present and you've never used Apple before and you're gonna try to, and you're like, what the fuck? And it's like, exactly. Like you, so I just want you to have to do this in a space that isn't quite so pressure packed, you know? Whatever you butt up against, it's like, this doesn't make sense. Well, we're doing it now on the 29th, as opposed to when the thing is due, when you'd really be freaking out, right? So knock out the rough draft today, just turn in a file, like make it work, you know? Okay, uh, the, the final draft, the final project will be due the third. So it is coming up. Um, again, my recommendation there, as always, I don't know your lives, I don't know your schedules, we're all different, right? But again, I imagine if you haven't quite yet, you're very soon coming up on crunch time in, in all your classes, right? If it were me, I would look at this project and I would go, man, I could knock that out here in the next 24, 48 hours. I could get it done, I could get it up, and I'm done with the class. It's behind me and I can move on to all this other stuff I gotta deal with, right? That's how I, that's how I would do it. Um, you do still have till the third. I won't even look at them till the third, right? Because it gets confusing for me otherwise. But, but again, bear that in mind. Like the reason this is due when it is, and, and I give you this space is you got all this time to just knock it out if you want, right? Take care of the future you. That would be my recommendation there. Uh, oh, last thing I wanted to ask, um, just to see, does anybody have any questions about the class? At all. Okay. How long have you been doing this? Okay. Uh, how old am I? Or better yet, what year is it? 2021. I think I, I think I taught my first class in 2011. 2011 or 2012. I think it's kind of iffy, but that long. Yeah. My first class. <laughs> Some of you think I'm like hard now or whatever. I have no idea. I probably did teach that class like they were English majors. Cause I, I, you just don't know, right? Um, oof, oof. I didn't have fun, they didn't have fun. We did watch Demolition Man for the, for the movie. I don't know, yeah, you've seen it? Good movie. 
Wesley Snipes, Snipes, Sylvester Stallone. It's in the future. The only restaurant uh, that that's existent in the future is Taco Bell. It's a it's bananas movie. It's a bananas movie. Um, but yeah, so I guess going on just about 10 years. Thanks, man. I I hope so. You would think you do anything that long, you get better, right? Like, Jesus. No, I missed like three weeks. I missed the whole thing. Do what? I missed like almost six weeks because I have nothing but my physical class. Yeah, so that was, man. I, yeah. <laughs> what did thou ask for? Or, yeah, that was, ooh. But hey, you made it. And you. I, I would say, you. Uh, I think you've improved as a student, like in your time limits. I really do, so, so well done. Appreciate it. All right, man. Um, I appreciate the question. Uh, last but not least, I like to ask this. Sometimes I'll get good ones. Any life questions? Anything at all? I've been alive almost 40 years. Like, it's, that's wild to me, too. Uh, I, got, I got stuff. I could just dump on you if you want. Yeah, man. Thank you for not waiting attendance. <laughs> that wasn't a question, but uh, you're welcome. Uh, okay. Uh, that's cool. Um, I'll take it. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? You guys good? We good? At the age of forty, do you still get to enjoy video games? Again, I'm not forty yet. I'm only thirty-five. But um, <laughs> yeah, that's that's more to do with my kids, honestly. I know some. I know some very. This is me judging them, and it's probably not quite fair. But I also just see their life and how they respond to it. I know some pretty lonely people that are in their forties that play way more games than me. But they also got like nothing around the games, um, so yeah. Uh, but no, yeah, I, I, it's it's my decompression. Like I, the kind of questions and and conversations we have in class, I'm doing that all day, even when I'm by myself, um, which can sometimes feel exhausting. So like when seven ish o'clock hits, like tonight, I'm gonna go home. Uh, I'll hang out with my boys. I gotta pick games they like, but. Uh, it, it, we'll, we'll do that, we'll play stuff, and they'll watch, and we'll talk about it, and, uh, you know, uh, 8.30, 8.45, they go to bed, and I stay up till about 9.30, so they're asleep, and then I go to bed, but that's, like, my, and the point I'm kind of making is, as with anything, it's not really age that does it, I think it's, it's anything that comes with age, so for most people, it's family, for most people, it's job, um, that stuff's going to demand structure, you know, and then at that point, it's just, like, Sure, but it's gonna—it's not gonna be probably whatever you're doing right. I—I re I remember when I was in my early twenties, uh, <laughs> I put—I put a couple hundred hours onto uh, uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. If you're familiar with it, you know, um, I'm not doing that stuff anymore. Uh, I think it's for the better, but yeah, but yeah. So yes, but it's not as with most things. It's not gonna be maybe what it is now. But sure. Other questions? That was a good one. Okay. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, or at the very least, uh, felt like you could tolerate it to a degree. Um, and if not, well, hey, it's over now, so you're safe. Um, please don't forget about the final project. You would be surprised. People leave this class, and it's like they fall off the face of the earth. Knock out the thing first. Like, take care of the thing that you got to take care of. Then you go, you frolic, you do whatever you want to do. Um, probably study, I would imagine. But, but, you know, do that stuff. Take care of yourself in the next week or two because it is going to be awful probably at times. Just know that. But you're going to make it. All right. I might see some, some of you guys around. It'll be awkward. Don't worry about it. It'll be all right. Otherwise, take care of yourselves. Thank you.